Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is First Round News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be the final series preview of the first round of the playoffs. Um, actually, the second to last series preview of the first round of playoffs. I'll be doing the Giants and Dodgers tonight, but this is going to be the one between the Braves and the Milwaukee Brewers, as the Brewers are the NL Central champion. The Braves are, of course, the NL East champion. So today, you, of course, got two dogs pitchers going there. You got Corbin Burns, who's a Cy Young candidate, against Charlie Morton, who always seems to step his game up to another level when he's in the postseason. And then in Game 2, you got two very good ones going again in youngster Max Freed and another guy that's always in the Cy Young contention with a guy that Max Freed that probably will be in it for years to come as well. I'm um, going up against each other. So this this um series is set up to have some of the best pitching matchups of any of the series that we've seen this far. Because of course you also have Peralta in Milwaukee and they also have Ian Anderson plus Hoskar Yanoa um down there and they also have Lauer um in Milwaukee um to match that of the Braves. So I think in this series you're gonna see a lot of very good pitching. The Brewers have a very good bullpen. The Braves have a very solid bullpen because of acquisitions, plus just having guys that actually know how to do their job. Via that, you also have a veteran in Drew Smiley as well, who can maybe swing. I doubt or start that much in the postseason since you have Yanoa. You might have him be the four starter once it opens up. If the Braves were to say win this series, and then that would be the way that goes. But you got things there. You brought in Rich Rod, who's definitely a good guy to pick up from Pittsburgh. So the Braves have a solid bullpen with a very solid rotation, very good rotation, I should say, where the Brewers have a very good bullpen with a very good rotation. So I would say that definitely leans a little bit to favor the Brewers, the overall pitching plethora. But when it comes to the starting pitching, that's definitely pretty even of just greatness going up against each other potentially in these first three games of the series. So it's going to be really fun to watch. Now... When it comes to these teams, I believe the Braves obviously were successful, like I said in my playoff bound video I just did for them, because of the acquisitions they made at the deadline, where the Brewers were more successful because of the acquisitions they made in off seasons and previous off seasons, like Garcia was obviously a huge acquisition with how poor uh, Christian Yelich did for himself compared to how he would obviously like to do in a season. So it, the thing with them is if, imagine if Christian Yelich starts getting going and actually turns it on a bit because Chris Taylor, the guy at the walker for the Dodgers, wasn't doing anything to close out this year, then got going. Bogey was struggling a lot to end the season, had a good game. So guys' stats get wiped away. It starts all over in the postseason. You got the adrenaline rush going of the postseason. I look for Christian Yellis to definitely step up and not maybe be the MVP form of what he was. We didn't see that from Bellinger yet in the first game, but be like a better form of himself, and then that's going to really help the Milwaukee Brewers when it comes to facing this Atlanta Braves team. But when it comes to facing the teams today, we I will go over the lineups for each team right now. The Braves have Jorge Soler leading off again in right, Freddie Freeman playing first, batting second, Albies at second, batting third, Austin Riley, the guy that I said in that Braves video, should honestly be an MVP consideration for how good he did too, batting fourth, playing third base. Adam Duvall, one of the better guys that's going to be sought after a lot if they don't keep him in the offseason, batting fifth and center. Eddie Rosario, another one of those guys, sixth in left field. They are no seventh at catcher. Dansby Swanson, eighth, um, at shortstop, and then Charlie Morton, the dog veteran, ninth at starting pitcher. Then when it comes to the Milwaukee Brewers, their lineup is going to be Colton Wong, a very nice pickup they brought over from the Cardinals, got good playoff experience, batting first at second. William Adams, a great pickup, a huge reason the Brewers are here where they are now. From the Bra or not the Braves, from the Rays, batting second at shortstop. Christian Yelich, the aforementioned, batting third in left field. Avisio Garcia, another great pickup, batting fourth in right field. Rowdy Tellez batting fifth at first base. Escobar, third base, sixth, sixth, excuse me. Navarez, seventh at catcher. Lorenzo Kane, Low Kane also has a lot of experience, of course, played on those good Royals teams. So he's a good player to have, batting eighth. And then Corbin Burns is obviously batting ninth, as the pitcher can also swing the stick a little bit. So this is going to be a great series. Two good lineups going against each other. I would say the lineups are more even when push comes to snub. 
because the Braves made all those great acquisitions at the deadline, have a good infield combined with that outfield. Where the Brewers, that lineup definitely is going to be at least even with the Braves if you start getting yellows churning a little bit in this postseason. Where the overall pitching staff, like I said, I would give a little lean to the Brew crew there. So this is going to round out this series preview of the Atlanta Braves and Milwaukee Brewers. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the content down below or at that widget up above. Enjoy the rest of the playoffs, everybody. In this one, I would have to give, excuse me, a slight favorite because of what I said about the pitching, full body pitching, going slightly to the Brewers. That's the team I would give the slight favor to in this series. But I do think this series is going to be closer than some odds things I've looked at on my computer throughout the course of the day. And I do think it has a chance to go to the fifth game, but will at least go four games. I do not see anybody sweeping in this NLDS five-game series. So again, have a great day, pleasant day, everybody. Enjoy the rest of the playoffs and enjoy this series between the Braves and the Brewers. Peace out, everybody.